So the next part under our discussion in this chapter, this is that is acids, bases, and salts, uh, is that is more about the topic is more about salts and pH of salts. If you go for a salt, if you go for a salt. A salt is nothing but a salt is formed. Salt is always formed when an acid reacts with a base. Always it gives salt plus water. That means every salt contains small amount of acidic nature and small amount of basic nature in it. Every salt is made up of small amount of basic nature and small amount of acidic nature in it. For example, you take one example. For example, you take HCl is an acid, it is a strong acid and base NaOH is a strong base, it reacts to give NaCl plus H2O, this is salt. But mind you, this salt of NaCl it is a salt of strong base and strong acid, this is what you have to understand. So based on this illustration, now classification broad classification broad classification of salts it is divided into four types that is if you take salts salts are divided into four types that is salts they are divided into four types one is salt of strong acid plus strong base, salt of weak acid plus strong base, salt of salt of weak base plus strong acid, salt of weak acid plus weak base. So based on this, I would like to give you some interesting examples. If you take the first category, that is first one, if you take salt of strong acid and strong base, if you take, you take, if you take a salt, you take a salt, strong acid, strong base. You take NaCl, it is a salt of strong acid and strong base, so it will contain NaOH and HCl. It contains NaOH and HCl, it contains a metal, it contains a non-metal. You take potassium nitrate, it is a salt which is made up of, it is a salt which is made up of, okay, I will just take this as strong base strong base and this will take it as strong acid okay koh potassium hydroxide k strong acid hno3 hno3 nitrate group like that you can take as many number of examples as possible that is you can you you can take even for example sodium nitrate so sodium sulfate sodium sulfate so base is NaOH, base is NaOH, acid is H2SO4, sulphate. That means here the salts, if you speak about the salt of strong acid and strong base, sodium chloride is a salt of, sodium chloride is a salt of strong acid and strong base, potassium nitrate is a salt of strong acid and strong base, sodium sulphate is also a salt of strong acid and strong base. If you take sodium chloride, if it is a salt of strong acid and strong base, Sodium chloride is having strong base NaOH and strong acid HCl. Potassium nitrate is having strong base potassium hydroxide, strong acid nitric acid. Again, if you take uh, salt, sodium sulfate is a salt, it contains strong base sodium hydroxide and strong acid sulfuric acid. So, like that, you can go for the second category also. That is, if you take salt of weak acid and strong base, salt of weak acid salt of weak acid 
and strong base weak acid strong base so again i'll take salt weak acid strong base if you take if i'm taking ch3 i'm taking ch3 coo na this is sodium acetate this is sodium acetate the sodium acetate contains weak acid ch3 COOH acetic acid strong base NaOH so you can just take this as a salt of weak acid and strong base weak acid and strong base if you want you can take a sodium carbonate potassium carbonate you can take potassium carbonate if you take it contains weak acid that is H2CO3 H2CO3 is the weak acid and strong base is KOH potassium hydroxide so here we have potassium here we have carbonate here we have acetate and here we have sodium potassium carbonate like that you can take as many number of examples as possible that is uh, we can take sodium cyanide sodium cyanide it's cn hydrogen cyanide is a weak acid sodium hydroxide is a strong base this is strong base so that means this is second category so we can go for third category that is weak base and strong acid and fourth category that is weak acid and weak base if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus